Welcome to TechPress, and in today's tutorial, we're going to explore how to add a comment section on your Google Sites website. Adding a comment section is a fantastic way to engage with your customers and your audience and gathering valuable feedback. Whether you're running a blog, a business site, or a portfolio, this guide will help you guide creating an interactive space for your visitors. So let's get started and haze your website activity. Now, the importance of a commented section. A comment section can transform your website from a static page into an interactive community. It's a place where your visitors can voice their opinions, ask the questions, provide some feedback. Before we begin, ensure that you have editing access to your Google Sites website. So using the third-party tools for comments. Google Sites so far doesn't have a built-in comment feature, but you can use third-party tools like Discuss or Facebook Comments. This platform offers and beamed and comment uh, sections that you can add into your site. So I'm going to type this cast. Now for this tutorial, let's use this cast as an example. First, you need to create an actual this cast uh, account and set up a new site on their actual platform. So you need to get started. Now setting up your this cast. And here, what you want to do is to set up your site into this case, navigate to the administrator panel and want to find the universal code section. In this case, what I wanted to do is to get started with an actual account of Google. So it's going to be much more faster to import my custom information. I'm going to be asking you, what do you want to do with this case? I want to comment on site, for example. So choose this option, add this case to site. And here you wanted to paste your website name. So here into category, Let's say, for example, this is entertainment of the Express and create my site. Here, as you can see, we have the plus, the pro and the commerce business person. So what you wanted to do is to add and create a universal code so you can start totally for free. In this case, I'm going to go for the start trial for 30 days. Here, as you can see, here's my universal code. I'm going to copy it. Let's embeam the disk use code in the Google Sites. So back into Google Sites. What you want to do, decide what you want to have the comment section to your appear. In this case, I'm going to open a new section. In this case, let's say, for example, a new divider. And then choose embeamed option from the insert menu, which in this case is this one. Now, here, what you want to do is to instead by URL, type embeamed code and paste this code's universal code into embeamed window. You can adjust the size and placement of the comment section to fit your page layout after you hit enter insert. Go. You can make this uh, bigger, smaller, making for the full page if you wanted to. In this case, I'm just going to leave it like that. And there we go. Now let's get into published. Previewing and publishing. After in BMG code, you use the preview option to see how the comment section will appear into your site and make any changes, adjustments to ensure this integrated well with your page design. So hit into copy the link, paste it into a new tab. And when you're satisfied, hit into publish to update your site when the new commenter section has now been correctly added. So there you have it, guys. What do you think? About funny, loved, surprised. I love your post. Comment. And here we go. It is looking really great. That's it, guys. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to TechPress for more Google site tips and tricks, any questions or creativity ways to use comment section, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, happy site building, stay tuned for TechPress for more practical and creative tutorials. See you next time.